All right, trade deadline talk. Um, definitely wanted to get in this. See a lot of fans on the uh, Facebook groups that are, you know, getting hot and heated with some of the players here in Pittsburgh. Um, although the team is sitting in fourth place overall in the standings, um, you know, it's like what what do we need as a team to say that we are a true Stanley Cup contender? Um, you know, I just want to go over a couple of the names that people have kind of on the trade block. Um, you know, a big name that I see and will probably end up moving is Alex Galchenyuk. Um, obviously, in that Phil Kessel trade, we thought, you know, obviously Phil is Phil. He's a 40-goal scorer to two years, three years that he was here. So we knew what we were losing with that, but really didn't think that Galchenyuk was going to be that bad of a player. Um, overall, uh, let's see, he's got about, he's got five goals, 11 assists. He's a minus three on the ice in 37 games played. You know, he hasn't been the greatest player for Pittsburgh, but, you know, and he hasn't really seen too much time and he had his chances, you know, he was playing on Malkin's line in the beginning, didn't really work out there, dropped him to the third line, dropped him to the fourth line. Now he's kind of sitting in like middle to third, fourth line. I think we're going to call the third line the uh, the Blue Yersar and uh, Tanev line. But, you know, he's just a guy that hasn't really fit in with our system. And uh, I feel like you could use him as like a vital piece in a trade situation, you know. And another guy to package along with him that I see could also be Nick Bukestad. Um, you know, remember, he's on the IR still. And, uh, you know, he's working back from that cord muscle surgery also. But, you know, maybe if you package him with a team that's struggling in goals, you know, not to say that Galchenyuk goes to this team and he's their answer. He's going to score these goals. Same thing with Bukestad. But, you know, a team that they could possibly land to me is maybe Minnesota. Um, they have 180 or, excuse me, 138 goals for us this season. Uh, and they're a minus 19 in the goal differential as well. So, to me, it's a it's a bad situation for them for a, a semi mediocre team, which you know has a, has the potential to be a playoff team. But uh, right now they're sitting in the bottom twelve and scoring. So obviously a guy that a lot of Penguins fans and including myself would want if we're going to trade those pieces away is Jason Zucker. Um, his contract just started in twenty eighteen, five year twenty seven and a half million dollars. So it's not the the worst contract. Obviously, we'd probably retain some of Bukestad and Galchenyuk's, and Minnesota would definitely retain some of Zucker's um, contract as well. So uh, he's one of those guys that we, I feel like, would be a great piece to our team. He's got 12 goals, 12 helpers on the season. He's a minus six. Um, along with Galchenyuk, Galchenyuk and Bukestad, we'll probably have to trade away a couple picks too. Um but that's that's kind of where I see what their value would be. Um, another person, maybe just Gao Chanyuk. I don't know if you really need to give up, you know, Bukestad in this as well. But another team that I could see um, is Ottawa, and a guy that I would like to see on this team too is Gene Gabriel Pajot. Um, he's playing really good this this year for him. He's got in the forty six games, he's got nineteen goals, twenty one assists. Um, he's an unrestricted free agent at the end of the year, which is easy to move. Um, you know, and it's something that I think that the Penguins could, you know, are willing to trade for. Um, again, Galchenyuk's one of those guys unrestricted free agent at the end of the year as well. He'll probably walk anyway, but I feel like when you're getting a good player, Pajo is the better player between the two. Um, again, we'll probably have to give up maybe a fourth third rounder along with Galchenyuk for Pajot but I think again that he's a better spark he's faster he scores a lot more goals you know he's one of those gritty kind of guys that get up close to the net I see these are one two of the guys that I feel at the trade deadline the Penguins need to go out and get now quickly to address Matt Murray um you know he's one of those guys that Obviously won two Stanley Cups in his rookie season. Uh, absolutely phenomenal player. But to a lot of Penguins fans, including myself, I do have him on the hot seat. Would I trade him? Absolutely not. But if he were to get traded, 
um, I have two scenarios to where, you know, teams that are struggling in goals allowed this year that need a solid goaltender to make that extra push to the playoffs. Um, one being Calgary. Let's just say he's not going to go anywhere in the East. I think if he were to get traded, he would go somewhere out West. Um, again, I don't see this happening. If it would happen, it'd be a blockbuster kind of thing. But I think we really need to keep Jari and Murray together. Um, but this year, Calgary has allowed 141 goals. Uh, they're minus 10 differential. David Riddich and Cam Talbot are their two goalies, which to me, uh, the names say enough. Um, they're not the greatest tandem in the league. Cam Talbot, career backup. Riddich, barely heard of the guy. But, um, you know, they've had their struggles this year. Calgary's still in the top, but I feel like they just need that one goaltender that could, you know, change games. Murray's, Murray has that capability, but he hasn't really shown it so far this year with us. Um, but, you know, again, if we were to trade Matt Murray, you can't get too much for him because he's a free agent at the end of the year. But maybe a guy like Sam Bennett, um, his stats really don't show how good of a player he could be in the right system. Um, you know, I feel like maybe if we get Sam Bennett, maybe a third round pick for Matt Murray, I think it could be a trade that you could see again, you know, Sam Bennett has so much more potential. He was a first round pick in 2014 and just has been complete butt since then. So, but you know, again, I could, I could see him, you know, coming to Pittsburgh, working on a line with either Morgan or Crosby and causing some havoc. So I like that. Another one being Edmonton, Edmonton really, you know, again, they have 150 goals scored allowed, uh, goals allowed this year. Uh, luckily that they've also scored 148. So they would be, uh, you know, a lot worse if, you know, you didn't have a guy like McDavid or Leon Drysaddle who's been killing it this year. Uh, they're a minus two, but Miko Kaskinen and, uh, Mike Smith really haven't been playing that well. They're almost three goals allowed per game, nine uh, and a save percentage, just over nine. Um, but you know, again, these are two teams that I see. Um, Alex Chason would be one of the one of the guys that I would like to see come to Pittsburgh from Edmonton. Um, big body grinder, you know, he's six four. He's got sixteen points on the season. Just a guy that I would like to see if we were to get something back. Um, as well as you know, again, like the Sam Bannon trade, a third round pick maybe coming that way. But those are my ideas. Again, I don't want to see Murray leave. He's still young. Still got a lot of room to grow. He's 24 years old, you know, so I hope they keep them two together. And I believe that they will and they need to. Um, I, I just don't think that we can pull the trigger that quickly on a guy that, you know, has brought us so much. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. If you guys disagree, please comment below. I'm down to argue with you. Um, anybody else that you think that we should go after, you know, there's big names like Chris Kreider out there. Um to Foley is another guy that's been brought up that people want to bring in. So again, let me know, comment below, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, that's what I got. Let's go pens.